today's beer of the day is Corona Extra. Okay, let's see how this looks. Very light colored. And there we go. What up world, this is Tony Recluse and you are on my vlog. This is vlog number 34, like Thurman Thomas, if you're from New York, or Walter Payton, if you're from Chicago, 34. Today's beer of the day is Corona Extra. Let's give this a try. Here it is. God, this stuff is just terrible. I don't even know. It's a very malty, very malty taste. It's almost like malt liquor. It doesn't even taste like beer. What, what kind of beer are they trying to tell me this is? It just says it's beer. It doesn't say it's a Pilsner. It doesn't say what kind. It's, it really tastes similar to, it's kind of a lighter malt liquor taste to it. That's the best description. Um, a bit bitter. So yeah, I'm not a fan, but a lot of people love it. Hopefully it's not just because of marketing. Anyway, uh, so that was the beer of the day. And let's talk about, uh, oh, that's right. So this episode is basically going to be all about my trip to uh, Barrow Beach and my trip back. So let's uh, go see what happened. It starts off in St. Augustine, Florida, the, uh, uh, the parking garage downtown. So let's go to that. Okay, so right here is the Greyhound stop. I'm waiting here in this creepy ass bus stop at 5.30 in the morning. And it's spooky as fuck. I don't even want to talk too loud. I hear pigeons and birds, but I don't know. Anyway, um, that's that. And... Yeah, I'll be on the next uh, talking louder. Out. So yeah, that was the bus going from St. Augustine to Orlando, and it was uh, wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as you'd expect, you know. Um, you know, you get there eventually. Uh, you read your books. You know, try to keep a watch, maybe for entertainment. But that's pretty much uh, yeah. It's like anything else. But yeah, so I got there, got to Orlando, and then we got to Bomber. <laughs> okay, that guy I just showed you right there, the mannequin guy, uh, that was from a museum inside an airport connected to a bus station. That's the way all bus stations should be, and that was Melbourne, which is right after Orlando. I didn't even get to see Orlando at that moment. I just like get from one bus to the next bus, boom, and go. Yeah. So I wait in, or in uh, Melbourne for about an hour, you know, get a burger, and very chill place. I love it. Okay, and action. So right now I'm at the Melbourne airport slash bus station. It's the way it should always be. It should always be a bus station and an airport in the same place. It just makes sense. So, um, it's pretty cool here. It's a lot better than the Vero Beach one. I'll get to that later on. And other than that, yeah, heading to Orlando, got an Airbnb up in there, and I'll talk more later. Okay, I'm out. Peace. So actually, that clip right there was from my second trip to Melbourne uh, when I was coming back. Uh, so I'll talk about that in my next vlog. Actually, my actual trip in, you know, Vero Beach in Orlando, the whole coming back and the Airbnb and all that, which I mentioned there. Um, yeah, it, it was a great, uh, what, a great experience in in Melbourne, the the bus station. That should be like the the ideal way it should be. Um, I think that would bring the pro, the poor people and the rich people together in the same place. So it's a lot more of a classless structure. I don't know. It just seems like 
your airports are where all the wealthy people go, your bus stations are always in the ghetto. So really there's two different worlds. It's like that Park Avenue documentary. Check it out. You don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, so the next bus station I didn't get any footage of because it would look way too suspicious. And here's why. Vero Beach, the there is no bus station. What it is is a bus stop at a gas station. Gas station where there's no chairs. Um, you just So I look like a homeless person with two bags standing out in front of a gas station for my ride. And not cool. So, give me beer. So th from there, I visited family, you know, all that. Uh, came back up, missed my first bus uh, in Vero Beach, so I had to go directly to Melbourne. Melbourne, I went to Orlando. In Orlando, I went to uh, an Airbnb. I was staying at, at thir over for 13 hours. Uh, Airbnb is a great experience. Everybody should check it out. Um, I also took a few Uber trips, and I think I'm going to talk about both Uber and Airbnb on a podcast episode, which will come up soon. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Anyway. Okay, so real quick, I just got off the bus. As you can see, not as spooky as it was when I started. It's 7 a.m. now, and I'm back. Uh, it was a trip. I'll get into it more later on. I'll have beer and I'll talk about the trip. All right, I'm out. Yeah, I was freaking exhausted. It was a crazy week. It was three days. Three days of and probably one full day of actual travel. I made sure to get a beer, a few beers, five beers possibly, at the uh, Miller's Ale House. Very good place for uh, a lobster tail too. Anyway, uh, you'll have a great day and I'm out. Peace.